Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Welcome to the video, guys. I'm happy to have you here. A little under the weather still, but we're powering through for the sake of Clash Royale, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, seriously, sending positive vibes. Some love your way, especially if you need it right now. I want to do this a little bit more often. We've done this in the past here, talking about whatever's going on right now in the Clash Royale zeitgeist. What is the community talking about? I want to go ahead and weigh in and get your thoughts as well. I love reading the comments on videos like these. So today, I I saw this post first of all before we go ahead and delve into it uh and it's titled no this is not the worst update ever this update did a lot of good things a poor meta dominated by two cards does not mean the update itself is bad just that the meta the update was released in is bad imo the worst update was clan wars 2. so it's interesting i see more and more posts I even saw a few vi a YouTube videos recently from other content creators calling this last update the worst in Clash Royale history. Now, I actually saw this meme. I'm going to throw on the screen right now. I saw this meme today, and it kind of, it, it, it really, it struck a chord. It struck a chord because whether or not you love this update, you hate this update, isn't it the case in any, forget just gaming communities, just anything in life, especially on the internet, people are going to be super critical of everything and not many people. It takes it takes a certain type of person to be like, yeah, I like this. It almost feels like you're gonna have arrows or spears coming at you or pitchforks, right? If you say you like something about anything out there in the world right now. So in the weird way, you know, content creators or, or you got anybody, right? Kind of gets crap for saying, oh, I, I liked this, but in reality, it's so much easier to just be negative, and then everybody goes, you tell them, Ash, not afraid to speak your mind, you're the man, you know, but it can get intoxicating for content creators sometimes. Anyway, I say all that to say, it got me thinking, this post got me thinking, right? Let's go ahead and give it a thumbs up here. Uh, prop vote. <laughs> it got me thinking, is this, was this a bad, first of all, was this a bad update? Was it a good update? How do I feel about the update now that it's been a few weeks? You know, this is the big update we've been waiting for basically all year long. A new champion, a new card, a bunch of other changes, obviously. Don't need to go through everything, but there was a lot in this update, right? Uh, so how do I feel about it? Overall, first off, man, this update, for those OG players out there, it's not even that long ago, it's like a year or two ago, or whatever, Slash Royale update, aka King Tower level 14 update. To me, the Slash Royale basically, actually, there's an incredible, I think I have it right here. Yep. Dude, my man Gratz. Let me subscribe. My man Gratz, dude. This is a video that you should all go watch after this one, man. He breaks down the time Clash Royale scammed its own community. I'll link it for you guys in the show notes below. Uh, but he really breaks down in depth what led to Slash Royale and why it was the worst update of all time. Essentially, I think he has it right here. You were, they, they gave us a bunch of gold, right? Ahead of the update. For those of you who didn't live through it, right? They gave us a bunch of like, uh, basically half off, right? But then with the changes they implemented, you would end up having lost on all epic and legendary cards, a ton of gold had you taken advantage of Slash Royale, right? So, you know, the community manager came out, they apologized. It was a big thing. That to me was probably the biggest controversy that I've ever seen. And that just made the entire update sit or land incredibly flat and that's being kind that's being generous level 14 update was to me the most unpopular of all time uh what about you guys this dude says he thinks clan wars 2 clan wars 2 was another one that was kind of meh i want to see what some of the uh comment uh, commenters say but before that personally i agree with the poster here i agree with the uh, clopey 417 I don't, I'm not against the last update. I don't think the last update was a bad one. I actually, call me crazy, and I'm sure you guys will either way, but I actually kind of like the Monk and the Phoenix being a little bit strong. For me, something new and fresh in the game, I don't want to say no matter what it is, but to an extent, to me, it's, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting to have something like that, you know? So I'm actually, you know, forget just the cards, all the other changes for the most part, some I agree with, some I disagree with, uh, but for the most part, I'm a fan of the last update. You know, I, I'm, I'm a fan. What about you guys? How do you feel about it? What do you rank it? Like a one to 10. I would give it a, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm easy. I would give it like an eight, dude. Anyway, I think King Tower 14 was the worst. Clan Wars 2 was bad though. And you know what, listen, well, you know what another one was guys is the uh, touchdown. I'm going way back to what, 2016, 2017, 2018, I don't know. But touchdown mode, man, 
I'm actually kind of a weirdo. I didn't hate touchdown mode, but they barely ever bring it back, dude. That was supposed to be like a big new way to play the game forever, changing the landscape of Clash Royale. That kind of landed flat too, right? Uh, King Tower 14 broke the competitive game by adding champions. Oh, people are so against champions, man. How? Do, where do you guys stand? Where does my amazing, intelligent, lovely, handsome, beautiful audience feel about champions? Uh, the champ cycle still hasn't been nerfed yet. Gameplay uh, past 7K was simply those who could abuse the shortened cycle more. It's in a crazy way, I'd have to... I like champions, but I also agree. Does that make me... I don't know. A hypocrite? I don't know. But I agree. The three-card cycle is crazy strong. If you're not running a champion in your deck, you're inherently at a pretty big disadvantage, in my opinion, just because of the three-card cycle and how incredibly strong it is. It allows you to abuse other OP cards in the game, right? Uh, on the casual side of things, adding 14th level, aggregated level discrepancies across the board. The most recent update seems to get backlash due to the level blocked arenas, which are good, and the horrible cash grabs, the imbalance of the monk and phoenix. How do you guys feel about the level blocked arenas? Uh, I kind of feel like they're good too, but I have seen a lot of complaints, so I'm going to prepare myself for you guys coming at me with Pitchforce again. Uh, he says, King Tower 14 was certainly a bad update. I can totally see why you think it's the worst, but I stand by Clan Wars 2. The fact that they took the working system of Clan Wars 1 and replaced it with something worse is astounding to me. The cash grabs don't seem to affect players if they didn't pay for it. Uh, if you don't get why people are so uh, upset by them, excuse me. Yes, Hoggy Bank was a horrible deal. Have you seen that? Yeah. Uh, so just don't buy it. Monk and Phoenix will get nerfed eventually, but the features of the update will remain. So I don't think there's fair to judge the whole update on the off as awful just because the uh, Phoenix and Monks are broken. Totally agree. Totally agree. And as I already admitted, I kind of like that they're strong. I don't know, but I don't like that they're going to nerf them after everybody invests in upgrading them. So it's kind of a weird catch 22, isn't it guys? Would you prefer a new card to be weak and they buff it or, 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 or strong and they, and they nerf it anyway, guys. I'm just going to read one more here. I agree. My personal favorites in the update are champions made available to all and not just restricted to level 14. I agree. That's a really, really underweight, a rated one. Daily tasks are not that bad. And Path of Legends is much a less stressful ranked mode with the ability of testing and experimenting new decks. Level caps are also amazing. Okay, I lied one more. Mr. Uh, Charisma, 83. The update seemed really good at the start, but bad starting to outweigh the good. Good new cards, daily rewards, new uh, ladder system capped at level four, uh, 11, excuse me. Champions available earlier. Again, I love the champions available earlier too, right? Bad. New cards dominating the meta, to me, again, not a big factor. Uh, daily rewards are terrible, okay? Yet another ladder mode. Unable to pro uh, progress old ladder without KL requirements. Uh, slowly chest, uh, slow chest leveling, excuse me, and loss of chest speed up boost. Uh, but I was just going to say it and he said it for me. Chest cycles got a, a huge buff while golden chests are eight hours. They give more value than the silver chest per hour. Uh, you guys can read the entire post, but I totally agree there. All right. One more. I, I keep lying to you guys. One more. I mean, daily rewards are suck. Couldn't, uh, we wouldn't have gotten anyways. I mean, even if the daily uh, rewards suck, it's still rewards we wouldn't have gotten anyways. And that's kind of how I feel, man. Again, I'm not here to shill for supercell or anything like that. But I guess that's kind of my takeaway, right? Is like, if they're ever going to give us rewards that suck, but they're free, I'm always kind of a fan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, at the end of the day, it's something that's free. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thought you were right. Balancing is absolute dog. Because of the monk, I can't enjoy my deck. This guy just seems like he's he's mad. The bulldogs and, and Bastion here. Uh, shows how unfair the meta is. It, it favors melee. Strong melee. Phoenix, which is beep. Uh, nothing more frustrating than losing five Phoenix. So he's just mad about the... He's just very mad. You can see here about the, the balancing. And honestly, again, I, I want to hear from you guys. What is Clan Wars 2? Come on, man. He says... It's the dumb riverboat update that literally no one likes. <laughs> All right, guys. Listen, you're, uh, you'd be right if the update didn't release the cards. You know what, guys? People are mad about the cards. People are mad about the cards. So I'm going to throw it to you guys. I've, I've spoken long enough to hear. Spoken long enough. Worst update ever? This What is the worst update ever? A. And B, how do you grade this last update? I'm starting to think after reading these comments that me grading it at 8 out of 10 is just going to get me creamed in the comments. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. Can't wait to read the comments on this one. I want to know. I want to know how you feel about this update, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, take care, guys.